Hello students, in this lecture we continue the topic market functions and in market function very important function today we see about the storage. Okay, already you know about the storage, different commodities require storage okay for different purpose. So we see here different types of storage structure what is the need for storage related with our agricultural commodities storage is an important marketing function it involves holding and preserving goods from the time they are produced until they are needed for consumption need for storage agriculture products are seasonally produced but they are required for consumption throughout the year Storage protects the quality of perishable and semi-perishable products from deterioration. Storage helps in stabilization of prices by adjusting demand and supply. The storage of farm commodities is necessary either for their ripening, for example, in case of banana, mango, or for improvement in their quality, for example, in case of rice, pickles, cheese, tobacco, etc. Storage provides employment and income through price advantage. Now we see different storage practices in India. Common storage structures in rural areas. Now see different types of storage structures used in rural areas. In that first one, gunny bags, you already know about it. It is made up of jute. Now some earthen containers are there made up of burnt clay and the capacity of that container 0.5 to 3 quintal for storage. Some bamboo containers are there indoor or outdoor structures made of split bamboo. Straw structures are there constructed with paddy straw and are usually circular structures. Now these are some photographs of uh, these structures storage structures used in rural areas here earthen uh, container is there then bamboo made grain storage structure is there and one of one storage structure is there name it is called as uh, koti okay masonry structures are there a room like structure made with brick and cement mortar some underground structures also there, shallow underground pits with depths varying from 1 to 1.5 meter. RCC ring structure, ring fabricated with cement, concrete and sand. So these are the different structures used in rural areas. Now we see very important next point about the storage, risk in storage. So there will be certain types of risk uh, arises in storage in that first very important risk is quantity losses. About 70% of food grains are lost every, every year because of poor storage in rural areas and due to presence of rodents, insect, pest, hay, fire, etc. There is also quantity loss takes place. Then second risk is quality deterioration. Attack by insect and pest, presence of excessive moisture, and temperature, dehydration of fruits and vegetables, time of storage, method of storage, period of storage. These are the different factors due to which there will be a problem in quality. Now, the third type of risk is price risk. Farmers and traders generally store their products in anticipation of price rises and they suffer when price falls. So this is the photograph of underground storage structure of grain. Now such type of uh, underground pit is uh, prepared and in that your grain is stored. The pit is about one and uh, a half times the width of bulldozer blade. Length as per volume. The grain must be under 30% moisture content. Polythene sheet is laid across the rich grain for about 2 meter either side of the pit. 
soil cover of 30 to 100 centimeter deep sloping to ground level is put on that feed so such type of structure also created now we see the different storage structures in that underground storage structure already we see okay underground storage structures are dugout structures its sides plastered with cow dung they may be circular rectangular in shape capacity varies with size of the structure different local names in various regions for example in rajasthan for food grains uh, we can call it as a khai then advantage of this underground storage structures is food grains are more free from seasonal variation in temperature and humidity these are separate from threads from various external source of damage the structure are easier to fill up but become difficult to take out the grain from this structure so this this may be a point related with the disadvantage of this method surface storage now second uh, type is surface storage structure it maintain more hygienic conditions by cleaning more convenient for inspection and performance of various operations during storage the danger of heating up of grain due to uh, internal heat is less food grain in ground surface structure food grain in ground storage structure can be stored in two ways so here will be one way of storing the food grains Bag storage. Farm products are stored after placing them in gunny bags made of jute. Each bag contains definite quantity which can be brought, sold, and dispatched without difficulty. Bags are easier to load and unload. Easier to keep separate lot with identification marks on that bag. And the problem of sweating of of grains does not arise because surface of the bag is exposed to atmosphere so these are the different points related with the bag storage bulk storage means stored in uh, surface structure in a loose form open form the structure adopted in village means it, it is of different types for example mud pots koti these are the cylindrical in shape made up of clay mixture with straw and cow dung mud and bricks capacity varies with 1 to 50 tons in some region it is also called as kuthara these are the cylindrical bins of mud brick mix with straw and cow dung theka this is also the uh, under bulk storage rectangular in shape made up of gunny or cotton wound around wooden support now this is the picture of type of storage open storage means in first picture we see in loose form the produce is uh, food grains is stored in that particular structure and in bag storage the different types of bags or jute bag is used generally for storing the food grains some in some uh, regions metal drums used it is made up of iron sheet and it is cylindrical in shape gunny bags to store jute storing food grains and oil seeds so these are the different structures comes under surface storage now there will uh, be again different types of improved grain storage structures uh, in india in that also for small scale storage one structure is developed pau bin this is a galvanized metal ion structure designed by punjab agriculture university ludhiana and its capacity ranges from 1.5 to 15 quintals. Pusa bin, this structure designed by Indian Agriculture Research Institute, IARI, New Delhi. Uh, these points are very important for objective, so keep it uh, in your mind. Made of murs or bricks with a polythene film embedded within the walls. So such type of uh, structure is there in case of Pusa bin. Then Hapur Theka, designed by Indian Grain Storage Institute, Hapur. It is a cylindrical rubberized closed structure supported by bamboo poles. Now for last scale storage, uh, cap storage is used. Cap means cover and plinth storage. So this cap storage has been developed by FCI, Food Corporation of India. It involves construction of brick pillars to a height of 14 inch from the ground. 
with grooves into which wooden crates are fixed for the stacking of bags of food grains whole unit is then covered with thick polythene sheet so this is the photograph of cap uh, cover and plinth storage structure generally it is used for storing large scale food grains and it is economical okay for using this particular structure and it is adopted generally by fci then second structure large scale structure already i discussed this point at the time of practical warehouses so these are the scientific storage structure constructed on large scale and warehouse facilities in many areas have been created by fci you know food corporation of india cwc central warehousing corporation swc state warehousing corporation cooperative marketing organizations and last large scale storage structure is called as silos the fci food corporation of india has constructed a few scientific silos for storage of food grains in main surplus producing area surplus means more production areas like punjab in this structure the grains in bulk are unloaded on the conveyor belts and through mechanical operations are carried out to store the to store the produce or your food grains the capacity of each of these silos is around 25000 tons so huge quantity of large quantity of food grains you can store in such type of silos so here uh, see the uh, photograph of silos in this picture and then you understand the capacity of storing the produce in such type of silos so these are the different types of storage structures adopted in india for storing different types of food grains generally we see in case of food grains so you see different types of storage structures in this particular lecture thank you so much